That's where our identity lies. Innovation emerges. What is up, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Eichmann 2023 and the Honda EM1. It, uh, it might be a little bit loud here, but you're gonna have to work with me on this one because this is a new idea of scooter from Honda with basically a 50cc variant with a 1.7 kilowatt hour motor and the interesting part is it does have about 30 kilometers of range or 43 in eco mode we can't open the seat but interesting part about this scooter is the battery pack which is very very small hand for comparison it should fit under the seat and still give a little bit of room for luggage so this little thing should give you about 30 kilometers of range, real world range. And uh, that could make it an interesting option if we could have swappable batteries littered all around the city. You could use this for just a, like a little work commute. It is limited to 45 kilometers an hour, which should make it drivable just about everywhere on a regular car license. But. Honda is going into the cheap and cheerful 50cc style of electric scooter. We have it here in pearl white and in this uh, matte gray color. We have a top case option apparently. Pretty beefy top case for it. And in terms of comfort, let's see how it is. It's, yeah, it's a little city scooter. Just like regular city scooters, it's actually quite small, but the dash is plasticky, but it does look nice. We have a digital display up here. We have your regular controls, normal levers, normal grips, economy and standard mode. This is where you turn it on. We do have a normal key and a USB plug, single USB, a bit of a cubby hole here for your phone. Let's see if we can get the light. Yep, a bit of a cubby hole for your phone. As why not? It's an interesting idea from Honda, but with with electric machines like this, why they are nice, you really have to get the infrastructure down. Because the idea, like it says in the promo, like for young people, young kids, uh, going to school, going to the early jobs, taking the battery, putting it in, look, swappable battery, just like that. Well, in order for this to work, you really actually have to get the infrastructure going. Uh, 30 kilometers of range is not enough range for a normal person around the city. You do, you have days where you do more than 30 kilometers in a day. So it would be nice if you have like lockers where you could find batteries and leave your old battery and get a freshly full, fully charged battery so you can continue your trip. So then you can have 30 kilometers of range, 60, 90, 120, depends how much how much range do you need and uh, maybe they could make it like a subscription base where you don't have to charge your scooter at home every time you deplete the battery you just go to a locker you just change your battery uh, i know there are some companies doing that already in taiwan then hopefully hopefully honda has the power to bring such technology and such swappable battery uh, lockers and subscription services to the european market as far as i know nobody is doing it now but maybe this will be the standard of battery that will get uh, will get adopted here in Europe. Who knows? But the scooter does look pretty interesting and pretty nice. So, thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.